kushukuru waziri kwa sababu ya kuchagua kuzindua huu mradi wa huduma hapa Kiambu. Tuko kaunti 47. Kwa hivyo wewe kuchagua kuja hapa tunasikia tumeshimika na hii mradi ya huduma hata juzi ulisikia watu wakileta makelele na mimi nilinukuliwa kwa kwa media nikisapoti mradi sababu I, I really believe in this program na ndio nimekuja hapa kwa sababu wakati miaka kumi nilifanya ngambo na huko ngambo tulikuwa chini ya system kama hii ya huduma and i know the benefits ukizaa mtoto huko ngambo anawekwa kwa system yako ukinunua mbwa inawekwa kwa hiyo system pia so mambo yako yote inaonekana pamoja unajua ya Mungu ni mengi mwaka wa 2013 sikuwa nimeingia bunge baada ya serikali ya jubilee kuingia rais uhuru kenyata kuchukua mamlaka waziri matiangi alikuwa alikuwa waziri wa uh, ICT na tukaenda huko China na rais na matiangi akaambiwa na rais anipe kazi ya kuongoza mambo ya huduma lakini kabla nipe hiyo kazi sasa Mungu akanijalia nikaingia bunge sasa mimi ningekuwa hapa kama kama mkubwa ya huduma <laughs> si ati alikata alikuwa amekubali na kwa hivyo siwezi kupinga mpango ambao mimi nilikuwa niuongoze na sababu sababu nilikuwa niongoze huu mpango watu wengi wengi sana walikuwa na resist So rais akaambia waziri wanahitaji mtu ambaye anaweza wakikataa anawalima ana hata ngumi. So I am very proud and happy to see that we have come this far in this in this program. And I would really request you to to, to push the accelerator harder so that we can finish the rollout within the shortest time possible and hopefully within the next one year we we get rid of all the scattered pieces of data and information mara mambo ya ya pin number ya KRA mara mambo ya huko kwa registry ya makampuni mambo ya NHF mambo ya NSSF ile vision about tulikuwa nayo miaka saba iliyopita ya single source of truth kwamba hiyo namba yako ikuwe kama ile social security number huko Marekani na ndio hata wale watu ambao wana wana kona shida hiyo we must move from the journey to identification to towards the journey to service and that is the meaning of huduma waziri rafiki yangu magoha anaenda huko anapata shida huko eldoret kwa sababu hakuna huduma kama kukakuwa na huduma tungejua hata ni mwalimu gani anaenda shule ni mtoto gani anaenda shule hata hii mambo ya covid saa kila mtu kwa kwa record yake ya huduma ingesema status yake ya ya covid so it is really revolutionary kama mimi yangu ingeonyesha nilikojeka nikapona na sitakojeka tena hiyo yote mngeweza kupata kutoka kwa huduma so i really want to to thank you and to to encourage you uh, na kazi mzuri itwe kazi mzuri you know people must be objective kuna mambo ya kupinga na kuna mambo ya kusupport kazi kama hii ni kazi mzuri na nikushukuru pia hata huko kwangu tangu niingie bunge umenishikilia sana tuko na ofisi ya large registry huko huko Katundu tuko na tuko na fiber optic huko Katundu ile of ministry yote unapitia lazima nisaidike kiasi fulani isipokuwa hii ya interior sijaona lakini najua kaunti kombeshi na kwa hapa atakupatia awali kwa mentabazo tu, tumejadiliana na pia ni kujulisha ya kwamba um, huko katundu pia i think the county commissioner is aware kupitia kwa kwa CDF tumejenga the first ever child protection unit in katundu police station kwa sababu tunapata watoto ambao ni ada age wanawekwa cell moja na hardcore criminals 
na hiyo sio mzuri so bwana county commissioner i hope uta, uta lika waziri akuja tufungu because it's something we are very proud of to protect our children because hata kama wamefanya makosa they are still children and they still our children and, and and it's something we are very proud to have uh, to have a unit really that that is able to segregate hardcore criminals and others kutoongea mambo ya bbi siku hizi is unconstitutional unaweza kushikwa so mimi nataka kuhakikishia kwamba hao watu wote mnasikia wakiongea hii Kenya hakuna mtu anapiga BBI. Alawazia, awazia with Jude Jomo hapa hapa Kist when the committee was going round. Na nikatoa maoni yangu. Najua mnasema watu wengine wanalalamika na hawakutoa maoni. So mimi niko na right ya kulalamika kwa sababu nilitoa maoni. Na kunasema mambo mingi sana ndani ya hiyo BBI ni mzuri. Vile governor amesema mambo ya 35% si hakuna mtu anaweza kupinga hiyo hapa kiambu tuko na up to six extra seats ambazo tutaongezewa na hiyo ni mambo mzuri lakini tunasema we have a historic opportunity as a country to move together irrespective of your political position i don't think an opportunity like this will present itself again even better than 2010 whereby we can all Kenyans come together and make even if it's a referendum make it a formality because we'll have agreed and begin watu wengine wanasema kwanza ati kuna watu wanataka ku deal that's why we cannot open open the document me i want to assure you that maybe somebody here or somebody there may have that intention because we are all from we are all humans but the overwhelming majority of people who are saying let us have a conversation they are doing it from the goodness of their heart and with all honesty and genuineness because of all the people you cannot say the church is being led by personal interest no and we are not asking for unlimited time we are not asking for infinite time we just saying let's have just a window of looking at all issues and we are not saying that all these issues are going to be incorporated maybe some crazy guy will come with some crazy things but the majority of the good willing people are going to overwhelm people who may have some unimplementable ideas so really with all humility let us seize this moment let us avoid a contested referendum it is doable and it is possible and time is now and i'm afraid that if this opportunity slips between our fingers it may never arise again and we're not talking about many issues very few issues personally i can die for one issue that the issue of ibc because in 2016 we had a committee in uh, a by a, a, a committee senate and national assembly from and, and, and uh, it was from both sides it was bipartisan government and opposition that looked at the issue of ibc in 2016 it was led by uh, governor kiraitu then senator and senator orengo and i was a member of that team of 14 that came together in during those discussions we were given one very clear instructions by his excellency the president you can compromise on anything else but do not make ibc to be partisan or to be political because that is the beginning of chaos sasa kama leo watu wanakataanga uchaguzi using a commission through uchaguzi umefanywa na commission which is selected by a panel what about tomorrow tukisema jubiri sijui waipa sijui anc halafu chama ingine ndogo hata chama ya sungure nasema hata sisi tunataka mtu yetu hapo ama adha hizo takata it is a recipe for chaos and i am really pleading hata kama sio jambo lingine tafadhali for the future of this country and the safety and security of our children let us rework that issue of ibc because we are setting ourselves up for a major catastrophe in the future otherwise hiyo ndio maoni yangu